Hey there and welcome to the Hobby Desk. This is your host Josh Shoebridge out for another unboxing. This is a quite a little surprise one uh, sprung on us today. This is the Conquest of Gaul starter set by Hail Caesar. And this is... Uh, I think the reason why we have this is because of the Age of Sigma. And I think a lot of people agree with me with that since the destruction of such a favourite uh, war game that we all love to play. Uh, a lot of us are looking at other things to play, essentially. And so this was bought by one of the members of the Hobby Desk, Tom. And he's just been kind enough to let me do an unboxing of it. So this is done by Warlord Games. It is a 28mm scale historic, uh, essentially from Egypt to Holy Roman Empire, I believe. And... It's this set here gives you two armies, so it's a two army starter set. And we'll, we'll, we'll might as well open up the box and we'll have a look. So, this is us taking off the lid. And what you get, yeah, okay, this is the first thing we get. This is the actual rule book, and looking at the rule, rule book itself is actually quite. A nice looking book. It's quite. It's got a lot of a lot of weight to it. You want weight when it comes to wargaming gaming stuff, no matter what it is. And oh wow, it goes to the Middle Ages. This does. <laughs> I'll just open up to the. What have we got here? We got to 937 Anno Domini. It's oh wow. <laughs> it's all I can really say is wow, just looking at the, the few pages that I've looked at. I've not actually read any of the rules for this. Oh, look at that. That is terrain any of us would love to play on, right there. So, it's fantastic. So that's the rule book there. It's quite thick. It's definitely a good size rule book, and the quality is fantastic. It looks more like something you'd find at Angus and Robinson or any of the other really good bookstores instead of like a paperback sort of thing that you'd find it also the first the next thing that you find in here is the uh, basic here's what you get and what your units can and can't do sort of thing it's very basic talks about the Romans and the Celts and what you can do next in order to keep going so again it's getting along the lines of what Games Workshop and Battlefront do where it's a one stop shop so, everything's there for you. Okay. Alright. So, just having opening this up. I believe we're looking at some Legionnaires here. So, there's your sprue. Okay. Let's give you a couple of little ones. Looks like a nice little bolt throwing apparatus here. A scorpion, I believe it is. It's the same thing. There are commands through these ones. Oh, no, no, the basics. Basic legionnaires, Roman legionnaires. I even get the heads that have the wolf, the wolf skin on it. I think that's sick. Here's some Gauls or Celts, I should say. And there, are, essentially, there's a few Celts. They're all the same sprue by the looks of it. In their plastic, it looks like the same plastic they use for G Dub and for a number of the other uh, Pink Perry miniatures. You use these as well. And it's Rendera, they're the manufacturers. Rendera are quite a good brand. I use a few of their bases. So you get six Celtic sprues, which are essentially identical from what I can see. There's a couple of, mo there's like one command sprue for your Celts and the rest are identical. And then it's the same, you've got one command sprue for your Romans. And then it's one, two, you get, you get two for your normal legionnaires and then one for your scorpion. Which I think really says that the Romans are the space marines of the, of the ancient world. Now the best thing that happens with uh, this particular, uh, what you call it, the this era is there's not really any boundaries. 
So, as we were looking at the, the rule book, as I said, it starts from ancient Egypt and it goes all the way through to the Middle Ages. So you can do medieval battles, and I know there's a few extensions on that too, where you can play, uh, there's Hail Caesar for the Crusades, which is something I'd be definitely game to get on. Actually talks about here, there's a number of massive uh, battles that they do in here, so you can reenact these. You've got the Battle of Kadesh, which is Ramesses uh, the Great, who confront, confronts the Hittites, and it's one of the, actually one of my favourite ancient battles is that one. Uh, being, I, I like Egypt, that's why I've run Tomb Kings in Fantasy, um, and Ramesses is the man in my opinion. He's the Napoleon of ancient Egypt, because he's awesome. You've got the, the Road of Boeotia, which was the Spartans and the Athenians. Uh, you've got the Border Raid, the Roman Conquest of Britain. you got the, it's called Go Meek into the Desert, which is the Persians threaten to overrun Syria and conquer the Roman East. You have the Barbarians at the Gates, which is the rampage of Huns that are brought to battle by a scratch force of Roman defenders. You have the Battle of Brenneberg, which is the Norse invaders are met by the Anglo-Saxon king, and it's one of the biggest battles in the Viking Age. So you're doing Viking as well, so you don't have that. It's you're already going through different ages here, and you've also got the the Battle of Barada Bridge, which is King Baldwin of Jerusalem which is against Damascus during the Second Crusade. So you've got so much going for you in this particular set. There's that many little army box sets you can buy straight from uh, Warlord Games. Now, the, the rules have been written by someone who we're very... You know, game design and written by Rick Priestley. Told you. Tom... And it's also a special thanks to Drew Will, Alessio Cavatore, Sean Turtle, Mark Sims, and Great Escape Games. Stay tuned for more. We're going to get some of these models built up, and we'll do a how-to with them. And we're going to do a bit of a series on Hail Caesar. We're also going to do a, a series on Bolt Action as well. So stay tuned for that series coming up soon. And I hope you have a great day, and you keep sucking those oranges.